Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Right. Good morning to you, everyone that is viewing and tuning in on this morning via Facebook Live. We welcome you to New Day Community Church. Thank you for tuning in and joining us for a worship experience on this morning. Amen. I know that God has a word for you. So I pray that you are sitting up and that you are paying attention and that also that you are actively involved. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to call up the voices of New Day and they are just going to take us a little bit higher with worship. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we come to give God some praise and worship and honor on this morning, amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah, we ask, hallelujah, that you join in with us on this morning in the worship, amen. Hallelujah, from your home, you can lift your hands, hallelujah, get as loud as you want to, get your praise on for the Lord on this morning, hallelujah. hallelujah. Remember to like, amen, hallelujah, comment your amen. Yeah, hallelujahs. I'm singing along on this morning. And don't forget, most important, to share. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and worship the Lord on this morning.
grateful and thankful for what God is doing, what he has already done. Amen. In the service on the mo this morning, through Glory praise and worship. Amen. God is just a good God. Yes, yes. Amen. And I choose to serve him. I choose to worship Father, him. Jesus. I choose to seek after him and all that is good that comes through the word of the Lord. Glory Amen. So good to be in front of you once again this Sunday morning. Amen. Hello to everybody, my Facebook friends, my family, all that are in attendance, that are in the building on today. We are so grateful for what God has already done, and we're just thankful for you being with us on this Sunday morning. As we get ready to go into the Word, I ask that you would go with me to the book of Philippians, the third chapter. The book of Philippians, the third chapter. Amen. I don't say it often enough. Say amen. I, and I miss my wife, but I just need to say this morning that I want to give her a shout out in her absence. Amen. I pray that she is uh, uh, watching me on the screen and know that I love her as she's sending out hearts right there on Facebook Live. Right there on Facebook Live. Amen. Philippians, the third chapter and the 13th verse. Do give honor to each and every one of you in your respective places. Philippians, third chapter and the 13th verse. Also grab for me Genesis, the 19th chapter and the 15th verse. Genesis, the 19th chapter and the 15th verse. Philippians 3 says this, the 13th verse says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning. Appreciate you for all good things that you have bestowed upon us. And ask this morning that you would just bless your people in a mighty way as we go forward in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I press towards the mark. Uh, I want to talk to you this morning, and if I would look, use for a subject, a title, it would be Take a Look Back. Glory Take God. a Look Back. Yes. Uh, over in Genesis, the 19th chapter, 15th verse, the Bible reads and says, With the coming of dawn, the angels urged Lot, saying, Hurry, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away with the, when the city is, is punished. When he hesitated, the men grasped his hand and hands of his wife and his two daughters and led them safely out of the city, for the Lord was merciful to them. As soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, flee for your lives. Lord don't look Jesus. back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains or you will be swept away. Yes. But Lot, Lot said to them, no, my lords, please. Your servant has found favor in your eyes, and you have shown great kindness to me in sparing my life. But I can't flee to the mountains. This disaster will overtake me, and I'll die. Look, here is a town near enough to run to, and it is small. Let me flee to it. It's very small, isn't it? Then my life will be spared. He said to him, Verily well, I will grant this request too. I will not overthrow the town you speak of, but flee there quickly because I cannot do anything until you reach it. You. By the time that Lot reached Zor, the sun had risen over the land, and then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of heaven. And thus he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife, Look back, and she became a pillar of salt. As we begin to look at this story, and we always we, we are taken and we are grasped by the fact that Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. She looked back at this moment of where she knew destruction was at hand, where she knew, amen, that they were in a state of a demise for the city that they were coming out of. Amen. She was in a place now where she's looking back to see for the last time what I can see, those things that I've enjoyed, those things uh, that were so near and dear to me. And Lot's wife chose to look back, even though she had been instructed not to look back. She took 
a look back just for a moment, and it was to her demise because she was turned into a pillar of salt. What if uh, Lot and his family, the wife and all of those that were a part of her, what if they chose prior to this to, to, to examine the place that they were in, to examine their lives, to examine uh, how wicked and unruly that the place that they were living had become. And they had taken upon themselves to be led of God, to move out of that place, to regroup, to move themselves into a place where they knew that God's covering and God's shelter and God's anointing was. But yet they had to be urged and auctioned to move because they never took the time to to look back. Saints of God, on this morning, I encourage you to examine yourselves, or for us to examine ourselves to make sure that we are lining up with God's word. Yeah, it's not something that, that, that we, we should take lightly, that we take a moment of our time and kind of check our surroundings, check those that we are connected to, those that we are calling friends and loved ones and family and such, amen. We have to make sure that we examine ourselves, what we are, what we are attaching ourselves to, what we are connecting to, what we are declaring and proclaiming to be the ones that we're going to, to even uh, make the choice to live the rest of our lives with. We have to examine where we are yes. in Christ, that we're lining up with the word of God. Paul says over in the book of Galatians, the sixth chapter, for if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burdens. God holds us accountable, saints of God, for our actions. He holds us accountable, so we must examine ourselves to ensure that we are doing and living in the will of God. When God begins to bless some people they forget to give thanks and honor the one God that has shown them favor in their lives. They think it to be their, their education or their networking or their financial status that put them in a position of prominence. But I would declare to you and remind you that if it had not been for the Lord that was on your side where would you be? This takes a moment for you to examine and look back and see that you could not have made it by yourself for you to take a moment to examine and see how God has made ways out of no ways, how he's put you in a position for doors to be opened on your behalf and where you've taken on the opportunity where others didn't have a chance or didn't have the opportunity. You took the opportunity to walk through the doors that God had opened in your life. Yes. The Bible Glory simply declares that every good and perfect gift comes from above and in all things we should give him thanks. So we have to test ourselves to ensure that we are lining up with, that our actions are lining up with the word of God and that we are giving God the thanks that he deserves. Do I have a witness on a Sunday morning? Yes, God has been so good to us, but have we ever taken the time just to reflect back and see just how blessed that we really are uh, in our moments of complaining, in our moments uh, of getting upset and disappointed by things that may happen in our life? If we would take that same amount of energy and sit down for just a moment and begin to think on the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done in our lives. Old folks say, yeah, my soul cries out, hallelujah. But they thank God for being saved and I would declare this morning I'm thankful that God saved me but because I would not have made it as far as I made it without the hand of the Lord being upon my life. If we're really truly honest with ourselves, it's not how fancy you dress. It's not the car that you drive. It's not the building that you are in. But it is about your relationship with God. Don't tell me about how much money in your pocket. If you can't tell me about this big God that you 
serve. Not concerned about how much influence you got, how popular you may be. I just need to know if you got Jesus in your life. Have you separated yourself? Have you sanctified yourself? Have you made up in your mind that it's for God I live and for God I die? I know we don't get this one time, this type of preaching early on a Sunday morning, but I just need you to look back over your life and see that it was more than what you went through, but it, it was simply the hand of God on your life that brought you out of your darkest days, pulled you up out of your murk and mire, set your feet on a higher ground. If you believe him and you love the Lord, somebody ought to shout yes! yes. Uh, He's been good to us. So we just need to take a look back to remind us that God has been good. Just take a look back and see that God supplied our needs. Take a look back and know that God has had his hand on your life. Take a look back and see that God saved you. That God snatched you out. That God pulled you out. That God is leading you and guiding you. If you would just look back, you would to realize that you weren't strong enough to handle it, that you were crying so many tears, but yet and still God stood up when you couldn't stand up, yet and still God spoke up when you couldn't speak up, yet and still God moved mountains out of your way, removed the stumbling blocks, and told you to come forth. I want to just praise God because he's been good to me. As I look back over my life. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, one, 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 uh, one definition of reflection says uh, that it is the effort produced by influence. Uh, what effect has the past six months uh, had upon your life? Uh, are you a better Christian now uh, than you were in the past six months? Uh, because if we really examine and look at it, saints of God, uh, because of so many things that have happened uh, in these past six months, uh, uh, people start saying, I'm just going to start the new year over. Uh, we're going into the next six months of the year. Uh, and people have just said, look, I'm just writing off the last six. Uh, 2020 ain't did nothing for me. Uh, but if you begin to look back over those months, uh, what effect has the last six months had on your life? Uh, are you a better Christian now uh, than you were in the past six months? Uh, can you see how your life has changed? Uh, can you see how you stood the test of time? Uh, can you see how God has orchestrated things in your favor? Mm. Through the pandemic, through an erratic president, through unjustified killings of blacks and these unjustified things that have happened right before our eyes, through educational interruptions, every tear you cry, every bad relationship, every argument has influence your walk with Christ, every good memory, every joyous moment, every good relationship relationship has also influenced the direction that you're going. But I encourage you saints of God to take the time to look back over these past six months and see just how blessed you really are. I'm happy to say I've had no cases of COVID-19 at New Day Community Church. I'm happy to say that my family is well. I'm happy to say that my finances haven't missed a beat. I'm happy to say that God has been good. I'm happy to say I don't mind testifying that as I look back over these six months, what I do know to be a matter of a fact is that God is with us. That God has his hand on us. That God is still blessing. That God is still working miracles. If I have I know. I know if you're online, just clap your hand. Just just throw some hearts. Just do something. Just, just do something. Let somebody know that God has been good in these last six months. I ain't got my head down. I'm not depressed. I'm not messed up. I'm not laid up in the hospital. But I'm in a position where I can give God some.
some praise and I'm thankful on this morning. And we've got to do a self-examination so we can strive toward perfection in Christ. If you're alive to hear this message, you can be encouraged to still know you got an opportunity to get it right with Christ. Just take a look back. I said some things I shouldn't have said, but I'm getting myself together. We get ready to go home. But I just got to remind you, saints of God, to take a look back over your life. It wasn't you, but it was the God in you. It's the reason why you sing. It's the reason why you're here on Sunday morning. It's the reason why you press on Wednesday night. It's the reason why you're in your words. It's the reason why you walk with confidence. It's the reason why you can square your shoulders knowing that you can come boldly before the throne of grace because I'm still connected to the God I serve. Because it's for God I live and for God I die. Come hell or high water. Come pandemic or injustice. I still live for Christ. Somebody shout yes. Yes. Ah, yes, yes, 
going to be oppressed. It's going to be a work. It's going to take some examining. It's going to take some pressures. It's going to take some situations in life that are going to perfect you. But, but we press through all of that for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Yes. You, I, we have got to take a look back. Lot's wife waited too late. It was too late. She was in a situation now where, where she had to only look forward and work with what the, 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 that what God has placed in her. Uh, but, but but she desired her flesh. Her yeah. flesh <laughs> missed the good times. Her flesh missed her old boo. Her, her, her flesh missed her babe. Uh, don't, don't allow your flesh to draw you back from where God is pushing you forward. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. He's calling you to higher heights. It's going to take some transitioning. It's, it's going to take some movement. It's going to take some work on your part, but you got to press for the mark of the prize, the high calling. In Christ Jesus, God bless you today. I pray that as I leave you with this word, that God does something spectacular in your life that draws you back to him, that, that his ways become your ways. Your desire is to walk in his way, to talk in his way, that, that, that your life would be a reflection of who he is in the earth. That you would give your life to Christ. If there be anyone under the sound of my voice that don't know the Lord and the pardoning of your sin, He's calling to you. Thank you, Jesus. He's calling to you. Reach us online, offline. Whatever you need to do, get in contact, connect. And allow God to save you, show you how to walk, how to work out your soul salvation. Through the word of God. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We thank God for that timely word. Amen. We all do need to take a look back now. While we have the time and the opportunity. Just to see what God has done for us. And what he continues to do on a daily basis, even though we are so undeserving of everything that he does, because not all the time we meet the mark. Not all the time we meet his expectation, but still in his mercy and his love for us. He still reaches out. He still holds on to us. He still pulls us close. Amen. Amen. We ask that you would just take a moment and just again to worship through your giving. We encourage you just to cash app us at dollar sign NDCC Hinesville. Or you can go to our website at NDCC Hinesville.org, amen? And I'm sure that information is being pinned down to our Facebook Live, amen? And in the way of announcements, we ask that you come back and join us next week on Sunday morning here for another word up from the Lord, amen? And when you come in, come in with a heart of expectation. Even if you're tuning in through Facebook, have a heart of expectation. Expect something from God. He expects something from you, so you need to expect something from him. Amen? Amen. Amen. So at this time, as we leave this place, but we never depart out of his presence, we ask that you bow your head in the word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we honor you and we appreciate you, Lord God, for the word that you have brought through the man of God on today, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Allow that word, Lord God, to rest in our hearts, to rest in our minds, to rest deep down in our souls, Lord God. Allow us that opportunity, Lord God, to begin to look back, Lord God, to reflect back on all the things that you have done, Lord God. Allow 
allow us, Lord God, to even to reflect back to the days of old, Lord God, before we were even here, Lord God, just for how you brought out those, Lord God, who will be our examples, Lord God. And as you continue to make us examples, Lord God, we pray that we are pleasing in thy sight, Lord God, and that we will continue to move forward, Lord yeah. God, that we will continue, Lord God, to reach for every high and every debt that you have set before us, oh God. So, Father God, have your way, Lord God. Continue to keep the families, Lord God. Keep those, Lord God, those that are tuning in, Lord God, those that are under the sound of our voices, oh God. Continue to keep them. Continue to keep their families, Lord God. You are the hedge of protection, yeah. Lord God. You are our provider. And you are our healer, Lord God. So, we will continuously to look unto you, Lord God. You are our help. You are the one, Lord God, that we cry out to, Lord God. So, Father God, we give your name glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.